And all right, so I'm out here reviewing the in motion climber scooter and you can see the acceleration off the line is pretty good with this. Now I am in sports mode, which is its fastest mode here. So it does take advantage of the dual 750 watt motors that this scooter does have. So you have a combined 1500 watts here to help get you around and I'm gonna do a hill test here in a second. Um, but generally I like the look of this scooter. So it has a black and orange theme. So you see that with the orange and the wheels, which looks pretty cool. Um, but then also with some of the exposed cables, they come in black and orange as well. And the cables are tied down. So, you know, again, they are exposed. It doesn't look as really clean as possible, but um, they are tied down. So they're not really moving around a lot. And then you also do have some uh, reflectors around this scooter. So uh, that will help with visibility. And that also adds to a little bit of the style as well. But yeah, so this scooter doesn't have a ton of logos and thing around it. So it looks basic, but it looks clean. And the scooter does come with dual fenders. So one on the front tire, one on the rear tire to help keep you protected if you get a little wet riding around in the rain and stuff. And then this scooter does weigh around 45 pounds or so. So not, you know, light, but not heavy. So for a little kind of short burst of movement when you need to put this in your car or carry it up the stairs, it's not a bad weight. Now, when you're ready to fold this thing up, there is a little kind of a hook on the stem of the bike. So you basically just undo that a little bit and then you do the latch at the bottom of the stem. And then now you can fold that down and connect that hook with this kind of anchor point on the rear fender to be able to kind of lock the stem in place. So now when you lift up on the scooter to move it, uh, it's gonna stay connected with the rear fender. So it, it moves as one single piece. And here we go, a little bit more acceleration here. I love this acceleration. I'm keeping up with these cars next to me. Um, but yeah, also this hook on the uh, top of the handlebars can also be used to store like a bag or maybe a helmet or stuff too. So you can use it for that. Now, as far as the controls, you do have a thumb throttle here on the right hand side of the handlebars, which is in the orange color too. So I like that. And then also on the left hand side, you will find this physical bell. Hopefully you could hear that. So bell's in a good place. And then also you do have one single brake lever that you can use to be able to um, use the brakes. Now, as far as braking, this does have a dual braking setup here. So basically on the front and the rear tire, you will find electronic braking, but on the rear tire, you'll also find mechanical disc brakes in addition to that. So even though it doesn't have like dual mechanical disc brakes or even hydraulic disc brakes, I'm gonna do a brake test right now. All right, not slamming on the brakes. I still feel like I'm in really good control of the braking. All right, um, now as far as like, like a headlight, you do get an integrated headlight, which is LED, does a decent job. And then also this does have a, a brake light that's integrated in the rear fender. So this brake light just really flashes rapidly when you do uh, engage the brake. So it's nice to have that. So you don't always find that on scooters. So it's good to have those two in combination. All right, so now for my hill test. So I don't know if you can really see how steep this hill is, but it's pretty significant. And I don't know the exact slope, but I know the scooter can go up hills up to like a 36 degree slope. So that's pretty good. Um, and I'm, I'm in already in uh, sport mode here and I'm gonna start from a complete dead stop and let's see how it does in three, two, one, boom. All right, and so this scooter can support up to 286 pounds. I'm about 220 and we are ripping up this hill. This is very impressive. I have like e-bikes that can't really get up this hill as fast as this one and we are already up. Wow. <laughs> These dual 750 watt motors are pretty impressive. That was fun. I mean, they advertise this as a climber, man. This is the main kind of advertising point for the scooter. And it does impress. And let's try out the brakes here. All right, I didn't slam on the brakes, but that still was pretty good. And let me do another brake test. I'm gonna slam on them a little bit harder. All right, so you heard that squeaking there. I got everyone's attention, but yeah, that was pretty impressive as far as the hill test and the braking. Now there isn't any suspension on this scooter and that's why I'm avoiding this cobblestone over here to my left and riding on the sidewalk. Um, but they said that the tires should give you a, you know, a decent amount of cushion. These are 10 inch pneumatic tires. They do have tubes inside of them. Uh, but in case you do get a flat 
Um, and in motion does include two additional tubes with this scooter, so you can easily replace those because they say that the replacement process is around like 10 or 15 minutes or so, which is uh, really interesting for a scooter because I've used some scooters where I've gotten flat tires and the process to change out those tires is pretty, pretty horrible. But luckily I haven't had to test this out with the in-motion scooter just yet, knock on wood. Um, but let's go off in the grass here. Again, I said that it, this doesn't have any suspension, but let's see how this does. You know, it's not bad. And this mode, these motors on here just allowed me to get up that hill with no problem, so good. But um, it's actually not, not as bad as I thought. Oh, that's a big hill. All right. <laughs> Look, I'm not like one of these daredevils. I got to take it easy, man. Oh, woo, okay. All right, so now is a good time to talk about the three different riding modes. So the first mode is going to be pedestrian mode, and this has a maximum speed of 3.7 miles per hour. And then the second one is going to be dynamic mode, kind of like the standard mode. And this will allow you to get up to 15.5 miles per hour. And then the sport mode, which I've been riding for most of this video, can get you up to 23.6 miles per hour. But as far as acceleration, InMotion says that this should be able to get up to around 15.5 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. So let's test that right now in three, two, one, boom. And I don't have like a clock, but I'm just looking down for five. Yeah, that, that's easy. <laughs> we hit, uh, we already hit 20 miles per hour, but I think we actually hit like 17 miles per hour right under four seconds. So the acceleration is on point here. And I just switched over to the pedestrian mode actually for the first time because I don't ever see myself wanting to ride this slow. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be good for like maybe if you put like kids on this thing or someone who hasn't really had a lot of time with uh, electric scooters, you can start them off in this mode before you kind of upgrade them to the faster modes. So this has a 42 volt, 14.7 amp hour battery and you have a total of 533 watt hours inside of this. And it will take around eight to nine hours to fully charge this battery and the battery isn't removable. So so it's going to be staying in there. And as far as the range, InMotion says the uh, maximum range for the scooter will be around like 35 miles. And that's best case scenario. And if you want the best opportunity to get that maximum range, you definitely want to go down to, you know, like dynamic mode and kind of stay there. But it all depends on how much you weigh, how many heels you're going to be testing this thing on um, to really determine how much range that you'll get. Oh, and I also noticed that you can't change the different riding modes when you do have the thumb throttle engaged. So if you do want to do that, just release that thumb throttle and then now the power button on the display that I haven't talked about yet uh, you just need to double press that two times to change the particular modes and the display itself is actually bright like the sun is beaming down on me right now and I can see the display um, nice and clear so I like that now one of my favorite things about the scooter is that it does come with an app that you can download on your smartphone and this is a very good app because it connects to the scooter via Bluetooth it can give you that information as far as like your speed your distance traveled on the different trips that you take also you can see very detailed battery information to keep an eye on that stuff. You can lock and unlock the scooter. You can turn the headlight on from this app and you can even adjust the braking power as well if you do find it to be just a little too sensitive in the beginning. Oh, and something I just found out is that in the app, you can also enable zero start. So this means that you don't have to do a kickstart. You can just press down on the throttle and then the scooter will start going. And this is also where you'll be able to install software updates to the scooter. So really good slick app. And then as far as the top speed, again, 23.6 is what they're advertising. For me, I hovered around 21, 22 miles per hour, which is still pretty good for me weighing 220 pounds. I know I need to lose some weight, but this scooter was still able to move me around. Oh, and as far as the footboard, it's not skinny. It's not super wide, it's right there in the middle. And it was able to fit my size 12 feet completely, but only at an angle, which is how I typically ride these scooters. And also that does have a decent amount of like rubber on the bottom too, to make sure your feet aren't going to be slipping around if they do get wet. And speaking of getting wet, the body of the scooter is rated IP56 and the battery is going to be rated at IPX7. But bottom line, if you get caught in light rain and stuff, you should be just fine. Give the scooter a little bit of time to dry out before you start charging or anything like that. So yeah, the scooter is a really good package for what you're getting. So you're getting a very clean, easy looking design, but you're getting that acceleration and that power to get you up hills and stuff, which I really do like. And the normal price for this scooter is $12.99, but I've seen it on sale on Amazon for like $8.99 for the last three weeks or so. So the scooter has been out for a little while, and I think $8.99 is a really good price for what you're getting, something that you can still easily put in the 
trunk of your car, but you don't feel like you're going to be, you know, riding too slow if you do try to ride this out in the streets with other cars. So yeah, this is the in motion climber scooter. I'll drop a link down below so you can get some more information about it. Let me know your thoughts about the scooter in the comments down below as well. And like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.